Kristaps Porzingis battled several injury scares to sign incredibly wealthy NBA contracts which have allowed him to indulge in his unique car collection hobby. 7'2 UFC fighter? Ever wondered what a basketball giant might do if he didn't make it to the NBA? In order to become a great basketball player, you have to be borderline obsessive. But even still, most players have other interests outside of football. For KP, his interests lie in combat sports. He has said that he's always been a big fan of Mike Tyson. Also, with the MMA scene growing and Conor McGregor helping the sport become mainstream, KP has also become a big fan of MMA. In fact, during off-seasons, he loves to sharpen his fighting skills, throw a few elbows and knees along with ones and twos. He loves fighting so much that in an alternative reality, he could have given it a shot. There are a lot of things that I'm interested in. It's just I don't know if I have the talent or capability of doing that. As I said, boxing, MMA, I probably wouldn't be a great fighter, but that's something if I was a different body type or whatever, I probably would have loved to do. There have been a few tall guys who made it to the UFC. Stefan Struve was seven feet tall, while several others have been in the six foot eight to six foot 11 zone. KP at seven foot two would easily be the tallest fighter in UFC history, but judging by his injury history in the NBA, it's a good thing he didn't decide on fighting grown men inside a steel cage. Outside of sports, he is really interested in business and entrepreneurship. He has said that if his basketball career had not taken off, he would have studied business. Now that is something you can actually imagine him doing. However, his basketball career did take off, and he honors the one person who had the biggest impact on his career by wearing his jersey number. Basketball Obsession A scary incident nearly derailed his career. KP wears number 6, in honor of his brother Giannis who played 14 years of professional basketball for several teams in Latvia, Lithuania, Italy, and Hungary. He even played briefly on the Latvian national team. Giannis used to take his then 12-year-old brother to train with his professional team in Italy. KP started to play basketball at age 6. In 2010, Baloncesto Sevilla, a club that had a professional team competing in the Liga ACB in Spain, called KP for a tryout in an attempt to recruit foreign talent to its junior squads. However, around that time, he was feeling off. Even after sleeping for 10-plus hours, he would still feel lethargic. I would run three times up and down the court in practice and I would be dead tired. Not sweating at all, but dead tired, breathing like crazy. And it was just the worst feeling ever. I was really struggling. I couldn't run, I couldn't do anything, and I didn't know what was wrong. Sevilla coaches were equally concerned. They had a 6'9 prospect who weighed around 160 pounds and could barely complete a practice. In the first few weeks of his professional career in Spain, KP seemed destined to fulfill the worst stereotypes of the European big man, a player too weak to fulfill the promise his size engendered. Turned out he was suffering from anemia, a blood disorder that leads to extreme fatigue and weakness, and went undiagnosed for about six months and it was killing the young prospect. Eventually, Sevilla doctors diagnosed Porzingis' condition. He began treatment, which included taking iron pills daily and he started to feel like himself again. When it came time to up the competition to level, KP did not disappoint. Basketball Journey He could have been a part of a legendary duo. Entering the 2012-2013 ACB season, Sevilla had hired Aido Garcia Reneses, who previously worked with the likes of Pau Gasol. On September 29, 2012, KP got the opportunity to make an appearance with the club's first team. However, he was stuck on a minutes restriction for most of the season. He opened his second season on Sevilla's main squad, strong in his third game against the EuroLeague team Laboral Kutza, leading them to a 20-point ACB victory. He would then go on to be selected in the ACB All-Young Players team of the 2013-2014 season. In April of that year, he had to wrestle with a tough decision. He was all set to make the transition to the NBA in 2014, but withdrew just two weeks before the draft to continue developing his game in Spain. Oklahoma City had the 21st overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft, so they likely would have had to trade up to get him. That means KP could have really played alongside Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook if he had gone to the draft. Going back to the Euro League, he was named the winner of the Euro Cup Rising Star Award of the season. A month later, he repeated the ACB All Young Players team. 
At this point, he felt confident enough in his abilities to make the jump to the NBA. However, his first taste of basketball in America could not have been worse. NBA career. He almost became another what-if player. On June 25, 2015, KP was selected with the fourth overall pick in the 2015 NBA draft by the New York Knicks. He was booed by some New York fans upon being drafted, but vowed to change the fans' opinions of him from negative to positive. And he did change their opinions. On November 21, 2015, Porzingis had 24 points, 14 rebounds, and 7 blocked shots, becoming the first 20-year-old to post such a stat line in a single game since Shaq, and the first rookie to reach these totals since Tim Duncan. He finished second in the NBA Rookie of the Year award, voting behind winner Carl Anthony Towns, and earned NBA All-Rookie First Team honors. In the following two seasons, KP continued to show off his incredible game and even earned the nickname the Unicorn. He set career highs, earned Player of the Week honors, and on January 23, 2018, he was named an Eastern Conference All-Star Reserve. However, soon after that, he tore his ACL and his injury troubles began. He ended up missing the following year because of the injury, and on January 31, 2019, after a meeting with the Knicks, left franchise officials with the impression that he wanted to be traded. KP was moved to the Dallas Mavericks. He finally got a taste of the playoffs with the Mavs, however. KP missed the remainder of the first round series against the Clippers with a lateral meniscus tear, and Dallas was eliminated in six games. The 2020-2021 season proved to be Porzingis' most efficient season of his career thus far, posting career highs in field goal percentage and TS percentage. But due to injuries here and there and his overall usage taking a dip, on February 10, 2022, the Mavericks traded KP and a protected 2022 second-round pick to the Washington Wizards. Now, this turned out to be a blessing in disguise. He would go on to have one of his best seasons to date. He averaged career highs in points per game and field goal percentage. He clearly took the toolkit to help a contending team. That's why on June 23, 2023, the Wizards traded KP to the Boston Celtics as part of a three-team deal. KP did not disappoint as he dropped 30 points in his debut, which set the record for the most points scored in a debut in Celtics history. Despite the injury trouble, KP's unique skill set has allowed him to sign several life-changing deals. NBA Contract He has been ballin' since he got to the league. KP entered the NBA on a four-year, $18 million deal, and when he found himself wearing a Mavs jersey, not only did he have new teammates, but a new contract as well. This one was worth five years, almost $160 million. But he wasn't done making generational wealth just yet. With the Celtics, he signed a two-year, $60 million deal, and the way he has performed, he will likely sign another major deal soon enough. He also has a sponsorship deal with Adidas, which provides him extra spending cash. And speaking of spending cash, his personal car collection is, well, simply absurd. Off the court, KP had to ship a few of his luxury cars to Boston. When he was younger, he dreamed of Bugattis and other supercars. With time, however, his taste shifted from the flamboyant to the refined. And for many, no car company does elegance quite like Mercedes-Benz. KP brought four of his favorite Mercedes with him when he signed with the Celtics. Once I got a little bit older, like when I was 12 or 13, I started to fall in love with Mercedes. It was my dad's passion, and so the love for Mercedes just took over. There are other cars I like as well, but Mercedes has my heart. The first car he ever bought was a four-door S-Class 63, and it is still one of his favorite ones. Now he has a restoration of a convertible Mercedes 500 SEC SGS Cabriolet Marbella, blue 500 SEC Koenig Special from 1982, and he drives two SUVs, including a 2020 Midnight Black AMG Brabus G-Wagon.